Hello, this is a demo of uh, NIM web framework and we will see how to create a Twitter clone in less than 100 lines of NIM. It will be a fully interactive web application and we don't have to write JavaScript. First let's see how the example looks like and then we'll see how it works. So let's start our example. Here it is. We can see that the content updated dynamically without page load. Let's fix the mistake. Yeah, our message is updated. So this is the example application. We can, uh, a simple Twitter-like web application, we can dynamically create, change, and delete content. Now let's see how it works. Uh, to make things easier, I would like to start first with a bit simpler example. Let's call it simple Twitter update the page and we have only uh, one action we can only create a content let's see how how this uh, a bit more simplified example looks like This is the source code of a uh, simple Twitter and in total it's 90 lines of NIM code. Uh, yeah. uh, so it, it works like this. There's uh, the state, our model. We have list of messages and we also have uh, add text. This is this, this part. Uh, this state is stored to disk. Like we, we have some storage. In this case, it's simple um, file storage with us the JSON. Uh, and we have um, templates. Cup our templates. Template for message, for a list of messages, and for uh, form. And we have our page with, with some uh, styles. This is our application. And this is some uh, basic assets required for the framework. Uh, as you can see, there is no need. Yeah. And here's our, uh, the actual logic. We start server. We create a route to host our page so, so when you go to the website it, the, the page will be displayed and then we handle uh, an action the add so when you click on the button uh, this uh, this code will be executed and what's going on here we modify the state uh, the state of the application we uh, add a message and we clear the text and that's all everything else will be the the web page will be magically updated uh, as, as you can see we don't write uh, any JavaScript and we also don't uh, write manually how to how the framework should update the web page after we click the add button it all happens automatically uh, and this is just a couple of helpers no, this is not important so as, as you can see the the workflow uh, the workflow it, it, this is this framework is kind of similar to 
how React J, JS, JS work, but it, uh, but everything happens on the server, uh, and you don't you don't need to write any JavaScript. You also don't need to uh, write code for how, how to change the content in response to some action. You only write code how to change the state. Now, when we see how when when we saw a simple example, and also you can see it's only like 90 lines of code. If you try to create something like that with React, you you would need to create a front end. You need to create an API. You need to create a server part and connect it together. And uh, yeah, it, it will be it will be more than. 100 lines of code. Now let's see uh, our original example, Twitter. It is slightly more than 100 lines. It's 150 lines. And the, the, the biggest difference is, let, let's load it. As you can see, our we also get the persistence out of the box. The, the state of our application is preserved. And uh, how it works, again, we have the state. In, we, we have a message, it's ID and text. We have a list of messages and some things like, um, like text for add form, edit form, and next ID is just a counter to, be, to generate next ID. Uh, again, some uh, methods to persist this state. In this case, we use simple storage, simple disk storage and JSON, but it could be, the that database could be used. Uh, we have a couple of more Templates again. We have edit form. We have message with two boot two buttons and the the application. Pretty much it looks uh, exactly the same as the simple version. The only difference is that we get uh, edit form and we get uh, edit and delete buttons. Uh, let's look at the actions, at the behavior. Again, we start the server. And uh, the difference with the simple version is that a couple, uh, couple of handlers. We, we have a couple of more handlers. We need to handle delete, edit, uh, cancel, edit, uh, yeah, and, and update, update actions. And again, as you can see, we don't need to write any uh, any JavaScript or any instructions how to update the UI explicitly. The only thing we work with is the state, which, for example, when the message is deleted, we only update the state. We delete the message from the model and the UI updated automatically, magically. Same for edit, for cancel, we just, in case of cancel, we just hide the edit form uh, and for update. And again, we, we have a couple of uh, helpers methods that's uh, not non important. Uh, yeah, couple of other things. A uh, couple of features of this web framework is that uh, yeah, let, let, let's see. Let's see at the. Let's see how the source code page source looks like. A very minimal, very clean markup. There is no any heavy uh, JavaScript or th things like that. There are a couple of quite quite small uh, libraries, JavaScript libraries needed for the framework. You don't need to work with it explicitly. Uh, yeah, 
So how how it works? Uh, there is no JS. There is no need to write a client server API. No need to write UI modification. No need to write how the uh, UI will need to be changed in response for an action. Uh, everything will be happens automatically. It is reactive. Again, as I said, the framework is reactive. There is no need to describe UV changes manually. It is, I put, almost reactive. There are some, uh, there are some limitations. It's not like, for example, you, you will have uh, uh, problems if you would like to have uh, interactive in, if you want to have interactive reaction on, for example, typings, like it, it, will, it like this framework will handle 99% of changes except things like if you type something and you dynamically uh, change some content in response to every single keystroke, then you need to handle it manually. But everything else, the all the changes will be handled for you magically. Um, state and session. Uh, how it works? Yeah, another important thing is that it's search engine friendly. Uh, when you work with frameworks like React, you uh, the content, the content of the page generated dynamically. So the search engine don't see this HTML. It, it, it will be generated later, later by JavaScript. But with this framework, it's, it's just uh, the same plain website. So it is search engine friendly. And also it has very fast first page load. Unlike the React, uh, when the page first loaded in React like JS Heavy frameworks, uh, first the JavaScript library need to be loaded and then the data need to be loaded and only then the web page will be displayed. In this case we don't need anything like that. The web page will be uh, displayed immediately and even as you can see the JavaScript could be loaded later after the content is displayed. It, it is These things are quite important for um, for sites for marketing sites and other kind of sites that sites that need need to be search engine friendly and also the size of javascript is very very small like these libraries are tiny uh, yeah try to build something like that with react and you will see how much more code you need to you need to write examples uh, you can see the source code of examples in this and this links. I suggest to start with the simple Twitter. It's it's pretty much the same, but it's easier to understand what's going on. And then you may look at the the actual example. Uh, and about me. Uh, thanks. Hope you find this framework interesting. Ah, I forgot to mention, the framework is not completely finished. E finished. Uh, there are still some issues, especially with kind of multi-trading. How the multi-trading works. I, I'm probably going to use this framework in some of my applications soon, and then when I discover maybe possibly more some more limitations and maybe some other ways to make it better. I'm going to uh, to make it more stable. Like the, the source code is already opened. You can you can see this is the I need to put it here. The web framework itself. So this is the web framework itself. It's actually, it's also quite tiny. You may check out the source code, but it's not yet finished. It's still experimental and work in progress. Uh, thanks. 
Have a good day. Bye.